Hey, this is Anjali and now we're going to start with HTML's first lecture. In the previous, I just told you about the topics we're going to cover in HTML. Over here, we will be discussing the few basic tags of HTML. Before we start with the actual tags, there are certain features which you should know about. Like HTML tags are case insensitive. Now, what do we mean by case insensitive? Here, it does not matter whether you write the command in capital letter or small letter. Both will work the same way. So while writing the code of HTML, you don't have to bother about the capital small thing. Just write it the way you like it. Second thing is that the tags can be container or empty tags. So in HTML, we have two type of tags, whereas in the latest version, all tags are closed. But in the basic one, we have two type of tags, container or empty tags. The container tags are the one which needs to be closed. Means you have to start a tag like this, write the name of the tag in the angular brackets. That is said to be the opening tag. And when we close it with a slash, it becomes a closing tag. So we have to write the same name again, but with a forward slash. So with a forward slash, it becomes a closing tag. Without that, it's the opening tag. There are certain tags which does not have a closing tag. You don't have to close them. Such tags are called empty tags. So to define these, I would say a container tag is the one which has an opening as well as a closing tag. And empty tags are those which just have the opening tag. No closing is required. We can also do nesting of tags. Nesting can be done. That is one tag can be given inside another tag. Whenever nesting happens, make sure that the second tag closes first. Like here, I've started tag two first, <coughs> excuse me, then tag one afterwards. But tag one is the one which will close first and tag two will be closed later on. Even if you write it in a wrong way, HTML is not going to give you any error because it's a non-procedural language. When you open it in a browser, the tags are just mapped to the elements to be shown on the browser. It won't show any sort of errors as per like on this line you have missed this or that nothing the only thing is the way you expected your page to appear it may be a bit different the appearance would be different it will not be the way you expect it to be that's it no other kind of errors come in html whenever we make an html page these are the basic tags which are always there these tags include html that is the first tag in your page we start the document with HTML tag and at the end we will be putting closing tag for HTML. The whole page is divided into two parts, head and body. Head part is the one where we give the description of the page like the title or some other metadata. So that comes under the head tag and whatever content has to be displayed on the screen comes in the body tag. It can be images, text, tables, links, whatever but that needs to come in the opening and closing body tag. We have a tag named title. This is usually given in the head section of the page. And this is the title which will appear on the title bar of the window. It won't appear on the page, on the screen. Rather, it will appear on the top bar of the window. That's called title bar. We'll see how does it come. Let's see a very simple basic code for HTML. Let's say I have written this code in notepad. We start with HTML, then head, title, title I've given as www.ac.com, then I've closed the title tag here, and here I've closed the head tag. So head section is from here to here, that's it. Then body starts, and then we have just given two lines over here. This is a simple web page to say hello, and then thanks for visiting. Then I close the body tag here and the HTML tag over here. So that's my sample code. but there is no point seeing the code like this unless you see how does it work. So let's see how does it work. How does it work? I'm using Notepad++ for running the code. You can use simple Notepad also. The advantage over here is that you can run it from here directly to see how it looks in a browser. If you are writing it in Notepad, you have to write this code, save the file as an HTML file. So when you save your file, do remember you have to give name of the file dot html in notepad plus plus we get the save as type as hypertext markup language so even if i don't write here dot html it will be taken as html but otherwise 
you must write first dot html or htm three letters are also sufficient so anyhow we need to save the file and then we can open in the browser in case of notepad plus plus i can run from here otherwise you have to go to the folder where you have saved it and from there you can double click on the file and it will open in your current browser so you can see this it's showing this is a sample web page to say hello thanks for visiting and over here on the title it's coming www.aec.com this is what we gave in the title tag but you can see the background is white the text is coming in black and i wrote these two lines on two separate lines but they are appearing on the same line over here so i need to do a bit of changes in this so that i make it a bit better like i don't want the white background so if you don't want the white background the thing which helps you over here is called attribute so in html we have tags which tell what is to be done and we have attributes which tell how it has to be done so i'm going to write the bg color is equal to seven cyan that the light blue color then text is an attribute which gives the color for the text let it be red okay so you have to give a space between the different attributes you use for the tag and attributes are always given in the opening tag so body space bg color is equal to cyan space text is equal to red so the background will become cyan and the text will be red so we save this code and we need to refresh it so let's refresh the code out here you can see the background color has changed the text color has changed i need to change one more thing now i want that both things should come on separate lines so for that we have a tag called br br stands for line break and if you refresh this page you see it's moved to the next line so br stands for line break so that's how we go for this and now the thing is that we have to do a few more tags which we'll be covering in this lecture that is br we have already discussed then we have hr which is horizontal rule then i have p for paragraph horizontal rule means you want to draw a line on the page horizontally so that can be done with hr it's also an empty tag br is also an empty tag you don't have to close these p is for writing a paragraph then we have h1 to h6 like there is a tag named h1 then there is a tag named h2 h3 and so on up to h6 this is used to show headings on the page h1 is the highest size of heading we have h2 smaller than that h3 smaller than that and h6 is the smallest one and in case you want the heading to be scrolling on the screen for that we have mark you tag i'll be using all of these in the page and then you'll see how do they work okay so this is the body and here i want to give a heading tag i write h1 and in h1 i write sample html page and i close the h1 tag here then i had to use hr okay i put an hr over here i don't have to close hr hr is done then if you have to write a paragraph like thanks for visiting and over here i start with a paragraph p this page is created to test basic tags in html is used for simple web designing something like this and then i close the p tag now the thing you will notice over here is and i save the file the thing you will notice over here is that thanks for visiting is here then i have given p tag so this paragraph will automatically come on the next line in the browser which we had to do with the help of br over here so we don't need a br here it will automatically move to the next line let's see how it goes so this is sample html page this is in size h1 heading this line you can see this is because of hr and here there is a gap of line because of 
P tag. So whenever you write a paragraph, it leaves one line blank above the paragraph, one line blank below the paragraph. So these are the basic tags we have and now we are left with mark you. Like I want this HTML page, simple HTML page to move on the screen. So before this H1 tag, I'm going to write mark you. And then I close this mark you at the end of H1. We'll be making a bit of more changes over here like HR. It was red color because the text is red, but I don't want red. I want this line to be blue. So I can have an attribute with the HR tag where I can tell color is equal to blue. I want it a bit thicker so I can give the size. Say I've given size as 4, so it'll be 4 point thick. Width, right now the line was from the starting of the screen to the ending of the screen. But now I just want it to be 80% of the screen size so I can write the width also in percentage. So width is equal to 80%. Now let's view it again. So you can see the sample HTML page is scrolling. This is scrolling because of mark you. This blue line is coming because of HR and that's it. And the size of the line is 80% of the screen. So this is how we use the basic tags in HTML. Hope you understood the concept of these tags and to have a better understanding, you need to practice these. So make something of your own, practice the tags so you can get them in a better way. A few more attributes can be used with a few of these tags, which we will be discussing in the later sections. Hope you understood it. If yes, then do like the video, share it with your friends and in case you've not subscribed yet, subscribe the channel. Thank you.